Hey, this is Carmen and Norman back here again to show you part two of Mako's and Seek Booth. Stroke and Go glazes are opaque gloss glazes that can be used in design for full coverage or intermixability to create your own custom color palette. Mako's Stroke and Co glazes work great at a variety of different firing temperatures. Here we have them showcased at cone 06, cone 6, and cone 10. As you can see, most of the colors hold up very well. The pieces here have three coats of glaze applied and were fired flat. You can see any breaking that occurs with the glaze on these ridges here, and stroke and coat glazes will not move even if you're bringing it up to higher temperatures. You can check the label and our website for Cone 6 results. Using Stroke & Coat at higher temperatures works great to add color and vibrancy to your pieces. They work well on their own and layered with stonework glazes. Here we have our speckled Stroke & Coat glazes fired at Cone 06, 06, and 10 as well. Our speckled Stroke & Coats have a base of stroke and coat with added specs for visual interest. When you are bringing it up to higher temperatures, the specs will often blur, but the base glaze will remain stable. Mako's Jungle Gem glazes are glazes that have pieces of frit in them that will bloom and melt on the surface to create dramatic and colorful visual effects. Our Jungle Gem glazes work at a variety of firing temperatures, with additional heat work, the crystals will often move and the colors will fade a bit. Our Jungle Gem glazes work great in design, as standalone, and in combination with other products. Check the label and our website for Cone 6 results. When applying our Jungle Gem glazes on a vertical piece, bringing it to higher temperatures, the crystals will often create mobility in your glaze. As always, we recommend testing with your preferred clay body and firing temperature. Our Elements and Element Chunkies are glazes that are designed to mimic stonework aesthetics at low fire temperatures. But guess what, Norman? They work great at high fire temperatures too! Here we have our Elements and Element Chunky glazes showcased at cone 06, cone 6, and cone 10. Most of the colors will change when you bring them up to higher temperatures and the mobility will be increased. Our element glazes work great in design, standalone, and in combination with other products. Check the label and our website for Cone 6 results. Mako's Fundamentals Underglaze are vibrant in color, consistent in performance, and economically priced. Our underglazes will fire to a matte finish to intensify the color and make safe for dinnerware use, we recommend to apply a clear glaze. Mako does make a zinc-free clear glaze that works great for preserving your pigments at higher temperatures. We recommend using our zinc-free with our spring green, leaf green, chestnut brown, and cement underglaze. Our underglazes work great when applied to bisque. They work well applied to wet clay and our colors will retain their vibrancy when applied over a red clay. Mako's underglazes work great at a variety of firing temperatures. Here we have them showcased at 06, cone 6, and cone 10. Most of the colors will become more concentrated at higher temperatures. For more tips and tricks on how to use Mako's underglazes, check out our brand new underglaze brochure. Mako's designer liner are clay-based, heavily pigmented products that come in this great liner bottle that is useful for creating fine lines and details on your pieces. Our liner bottle comes equipped with a metal tip that helps create both fine and bold lines, calligraphy, and details in design. It also works great when applied with a brush to produce a watercolor effect. Our designer liners perform well from 06 up to cone 10. 
with minimal change in results between firing temperatures. Designer liner will fire matte when used alone. If using designer liner in design, we recommend to use a transparent or semi-transparent non-moving glaze over top. Designer liner will not move unless it is paired with a moving glaze. Designer liner is also great for signing the bottom of your piece. It will not fire to your kiln shelf. 